Um, when it comes to your question on Ghusl and Wudu, we had um, a lecture on it recently, so you can refer back to that for more details. But um, you must. Pref- so there's three scenarios, okay? The first one is that you are able to wash. If you're able to wash when it comes to Wudu and Ghusl, then you must do so. Second scenario, you're not able to wash, but you are able to wipe. So you're supposed to wash your face, you're supposed to wash your arms, you're supposed to wash your body when it comes to ghusl. If you're not able to wash, then if you are able to wipe, then that is sufficient. Third scenario, you're not able to wash or wipe. Then you do what you can, and then you make tayammum after you have completed the wudu or the ghusl. So for example, you're not able to wash your face, you're not able to wash your hair, so you do the rest of it, you do the rest of ghusl and you do the rest of wudu and then once you have finished, then you do tayammum and tayammum is where you beat the ground or you get earth into your hands we've done tayammum before, yeah, so you should know about that um, that's it <laughs>